Ouch! What happened? I think I have been bitten by a bed bug. Now I'll explain the situation by answering a blood-sucking question. What if a bed bug bites you? Zoom in! Bed bugs belong to the Simicidae family, which comprises around 100 species of small parasitic insects that feed on warm blooded animals. The species most commonly found around humans is Cymex lectularius, a reddish brown wingless insect that is about a quarter of an inch like an apple seed. Female bedbugs are tiny but mighty capable of laying hundreds of eggs throughout their lives. Each one so small, it's barely the size of a dust speck. Their offspring, called nymphs, shed their skin five times before becoming adults, needing a blood meal before each molt. Under the right conditions, these pests can mature in just a month and may produce multiple generations yearly, living rent-free in your bed, furniture and clothing. They don't fly, but they move quickly over floors, walls and ceilings, usually hunting for one thing, your blood. Yes, they crawl out of their spaces usually at night, following the trail of the carbon dioxide you exhale, the heat from your body and even the smell of your dirty laundry. Once it locks onto the target, it uses its needle-like mouth to pierce your skin. To make sure you don't feel a thing, it injects a numbing agent along with an anticoagulant to keep your blood from clotting. This allows the bug to drink as much blood as it needs, sometimes swelling up to look like a tiny balloon by the time it's done. But don't worry, my friends. While bed bugs are a nuisance, fortunately, they don't spread diseases. However, it doesn't change the fact that they can be really annoying and cause great discomfort. And let's not forget the rare allergic reaction. So, it's important to take certain steps to save yourself from this itchy experience. And what are they? Well, if you suspect you've been bitten by a bed bug, the first thing to do is not to panic. Then, wash the bite area with soap and water to reduce the risk of infection and help soothe the skin. Applying an anti-itch cream or lotion can help reduce itching and swelling. You may also try applying a cold cloth or an ice pack wrapped in a towel. Whatever you do, try not to scratch the bites as this can lead to further irritation or infection. If you notice signs of an allergic reaction or the bites become increasingly painful, consult a healthcare professional immediately. And to prevent a bed bug infestation in your home, be careful when traveling. Check your hotel bed for signs of bed bugs and keep your luggage off the floor. If you do find bed bugs in your home, it's best to call a professional exterminator. They often use heat treatments as bed bugs can't survive temperatures above 110 degrees Fahrenheit for long periods. So the next time you feel a mysterious itch, remember, it might just be a bed bug, but it's nothing you can't handle. Trivia time! Did you know that once a bed bug finds a host, it usually feeds for 5 to 10 minutes until it is replete? Yes, and after having the meal, they move to secluded places and hide for 5 to 10 days. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Zian Mohammed. Hope you learned something bugging today.
Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ouch, ouch, ow, 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 ow. Quickly, spray the bed bug repellent, kitty. Never mind.